Okay, so I wanted to do a video on this. This is going to be brief, but I really like this video by Divested Zealot, so, um, here we go. It's, it's going to be brief. Don't worry. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I didn't mean for that. Then, what is going on, New Dawn? We got Colette in the building. Discarded Roses is here. She says New York is trifling. And yes, ma'am, that is the understatement of the year. Religion Free is here. All oh, the girls are in the building. Daniel's here. How you doing, boo? Aisha B is here. Live Life is here. Lady Posh is in the building. Discarded Roses, I already mentioned you. Satin Doll is here. Y'all, let me tell you something. We should be basically on fire at this point because the gaslighting and bullshit is ridiculous. Now, you guys know good and goddamn well that a couple of facts exist. The fact of the matter is um, you need to leave Blackistan. That's an understood fact. The other fact is the um, men over there in Blackistan are trash. That is an undisputable fact. Um, there's 77% out of wedlock birth, 62% sexual assault rate before you enter 18, blah, 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 blah. We know this. But nobody wants to talk about that. They're just wanting to guess, like, some of the... Tra no, I think, honestly, because misery loves company, to be completely honest with you. Traditional glass, gaslighting tactics are basically telling you you don't know how to read statistics. That's one of those gaslighting tactics. We're, 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 we're good. We already know about that. Oh, yeah, they're always trying to change the statistics over and over again. This is why I always focus on the stats that involve that individual to make them look even more stupid for working against themselves. But, you know, people really are so dumb, they will just do exactly that. But, yeah, continue. Another one. You're practicing eugenics. Who's going to have all these little bastards? If you decide not to have any more bastards, that's supposed And that doesn't make any sense in the world to me because it's like we have a whole continent, well, most of the continent, sub-Saharan Africa, and they are pure black, more than I am even black, and everyone's seen my DNA results. So, I mean, like, we have true black people in the continent. We aren't even true black people. So we are mixed with the European ancestry anyway, in the first place, which is so stupid when people say, oh, you won't have black kids. Well, if we, if we won't have black kids, we don't have, we aren't black anyway in the first place because we got black and European, every black and American has some black and European in them. So, I mean, like freaking out because your kids have black and European is just stupid because no matter who you had a kid with, the kid was going to be black and European, you dumb fuck, like, you know. So, I mean, like, even that whole claim is stupid on so many dang levels, it's crazy. One, there's plenty of other people who are going to have black kids. And then on top of it, it's like the whole thing about, you know, we all kind of have European in us anyway, so that's stupid. So continue. The fall on you as well, right? Another one. Black men are the only men that understand black women. Well, God damn it. This is so crazy because it's like, what do you mean by that? Usually it goes, it means by some kind of stereotype of black women, basically. And so they'll say that basically black men are the only ones who understand black women. But in reality, it's like black men who think that black women are a certain way are just basically going off as of a stereotype. So that's not even actually going about knowing anybody. It's just basically stereotyping someone. So for those who actually don't fall under that stereotype, you completely miss who that person really was. And you won't really understand who that person is because you are stereotyping them before you even know them. Is this what you call understanding? Telling you that you smell bad, that you're only worth five dollars, that Ooh. nobody wants you. Is that what it is? That's that's your understanding that your your weave is fucked up? That's understanding you? <laughs> I guess. 
Another one is non-black men don't want you. Right? They just don't want Yeah, they do that one a lot, too. That one is more so done because I think, especially for the mammies, they feel like black men don't want them that much because, you know, they're always showing that they don't want them. So they like to have a misery loves company thing and try and spread that around to women who aren't attracted to black men so they can feel unwanted, too, you know. You. Well, look at you. Who wants you? Another one, you don't understand or remember your history. Know your history, ladies. That one's a little tricky because when you start to study history, you find out that you should leave Blackistan. Mm -hmm. How about that part? I don't think you want these ladies to read their history. I don't. Because if they read it and they understand what, what, what went down, you might have a faster bleed than what you have right now. I don't think you want them to start studying their history, slavery, Jim Crow, and all that shit. Be careful what you ask for. But here's the deal. There is a new tactic, and I got a copy of that in my inbox. It's pointed directly at divestors. Are you interested to know what the fuck I'm talking about? Well, the new tactic. Ladies, if white males or non-black males, and here's the thing, they're, they're obsessed with white men. They say we are, but, but they are. The new tactic is when they see your content, they're going to stay as far away from divestors as possible. You ladies are just like the manosphere, and you're making white males not want you. I find that fucking hilarious. For a few... That's the same one as the one as them saying they don't want you, isn't it? It's like the thinly veiled one, honestly, but I don't know. Continue. Reason. One of the reasons being, if anything was going to run off a non-black man, <laughs> it ain't your twerk video. It ain't your dear black man, we love you video. No. The dear black man one is definitely a character painting honestly in my opinion because it specifically paints all black women a certain way it doesn't give us much variety and it also just makes it seem like we all like one type of thing and we are all the same mammy minded individual as those women people should just personalize it to their own mamminess like if they're a mammy just keep it to being oh this is me and this is my mamminess right now but why do you have to try and extrapolate it to all other black women? Because you're painting us all with a broad brush. That's what's annoying to me. None of that shit, right? None of you whooping people ass up in McDonald's because they forgot your nuggets. None of that. None of that's gonna run them yeah, off. That's just what's crazy. going to run them off is divestors. Do you understand me? Yeah, I don't... This is the corniest shit. I don't even get what they mean by that because it seems like with that whole situation, it's like, the, I don't think they understand what divestors are, one, and I don't think they understand how divestors carry themselves in regular life. Continue. I've ever seen in my life. This is another way to say, hey, can you please stop quoting those stats and be quiet? You would indeed have a point if divested women got out here in real life, went up to the nearest white man and said, hey, my name on YouTube is Ape Crusher and I want to fuck. <laughs> that's not what's happening and you know that's not what's happening. <laughs> oh my God, that was crazy. Yeah, I, some of them do definitely act like that is how divestors basically approach the whole situation. Like... They basically act like this is their norm of how they carry themselves in regular life. And it's really weird to me because, I mean, like, no one, I don't think anyone, really openly does that in real life. I don't think they would live long if they did, honestly. You ladies cold switch all the time. Depending on who you deal with is what personality you're going to see. Now, if you sitting at your house thinking, 
that these women that come up on these panels, that come over here and get up, you know, in the in the chat, are in their real life talking to people like that. You have lost your goddamn mind. Stop with the disingenuousness. It sucks. It sucks. I honestly think they don't really think that they talk like that. I think they think that it's just a good way to lie about them, basically. 